Okay, hi, hello, welcome back. Last time we blew up a castle, because we're RPG heroes and stuff. So yeah, fire's gone. Thankfully, the prices of the shops didn't go up even further, but yeah, fire's gone. <clears throat> Fire is over, love is over. There is no way, etc., etc. So we go up here and get a flame rod for free. That's a free 750 gil that I don't have to spend later. Um, it's also good that I have those because I'm going to buy a few rods. Um, more fire than frost, but I'm going to buy like four frost rods and like a bunch of fire rods. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's start with the four frost. Okay, so I have two, so I really only need one. And then let's buy five of those, I guess. And then one thunder rod for right now. I'll come back for more later. This guy's here now. And do you sell anything? Okay, you don't sell anything I can use right now. I'm being coy, but I got Ranger. Ranger is the third job. I'm actually pretty all right with it. So let's check in with old Sid here at the pub. That's the inn, not the pub. We can check in on the queen who's here, though. That'll be a fun time. So yeah, the queen is here. Oh, no. She's kind of like super traumatized after what she went through, and I can't say I blame her, honestly. Uh, yeah, so I didn't have to, I had to use one, actually I didn't have to use a phoenix down, I had res, right. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this in right now, because I still have to walk to the next dungeon, which, uh, I'm not, it's, there's like one part of the walk to the next dungeon that is kind of unfortunately, uh, hectic, arduous. Terrifying? Maybe, okay. Um, but yeah, I, uh, there, there's like one, if I get into an encounter in the desert, I'm basically dead. So, I want that to not happen. If I were a blue mage, I would want that encounter, but I am not, so I don't. Same with Deathclaw. So, first thing I'm gonna do is equip both red mages. First off, I'm gonna change people around, because I got red magic level 2. Um, let's get you focus. And not the Elven Mantle. Now let's get you onto Red Mage. And give you Chakra, I think I want. Because Focus isn't going to do me any good at all. Um, Main Ghost is not bad, traditionally. Let's get you onto Red Mage with Chakra. Um, and then I'm going to equip both with Fire Rods. And Elven Mantles. Let's do Silver Specs on you, actually, as well. And I don't know why I equipped you, because you're just gonna be re-equipped here in a second anyway, and red. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, I gave you Focus for some weird reason. Let's go red. You're gonna get Silver Specs. Yes, okay, good. I can sell leather shoes now. So going to the inn was pointless, because now I have to do it again anyway. But that's that's whatever. Oh, you're not here yet. Um Oh right, I think I have to go to the fire ship first. So we'll come back to the inn. It's only 20 gil, so it's not like I really wasted anything other than time, but yeah. So yeah, we go to the inn here. Hi Sid. Sad Sid. On the one hand, it's like Sid was honest to God just trying to make everyone's lives better by amplifying the crystal's power. But on the other hand, he's a scientist. He should have, like, studied those side effects and whatnot. Also, yeah, okay. Not sure why I went for kick, honestly. Not sure why I'm doing it a second time. Yeah, feeler. That's gonna cause old. Old is a very fun status effect. So what old does is it gradually is like a slow poison, but for your stats, it's interesting. Since I'm gonna in anyway, why am I like bothering like not having them do anything? Actually, that's a very good question, me. Okay, cool. Now we just have them attack. Cool. I don't mind because that was EXP. That's the in again, and I need to do that. So yeah, old is a temporary in-battle-only status effect. You gradually lower your stats over time to ridiculous levels. 
We have to go admonish Sid for being- Yeah, so, on the one hand, I, you know, he's a scientist, he should have known better. He should have known not to, like, or to look more into the side effects of amplifying the power of crystals that literally keep the world held together. And the elements in check. On the other hand, he wanted to make everyone's lives better and got really all excited about it. So, like, I can't blame him, but on the other hand, Sid, buddy, you're a science. You should have done your homework first. Five minutes in and we're finally starting the walk to the next dungeon. This one might be a bit longer. Lamel. Ideally, I want to hit 16 before I uh, get too far into the next dungeon. And the reason I want that is because in the next dungeon, there's an enemy with level 5 death. Which you have to be successfully hit by um, a spell to learn it as a blue magic. So in a casual playthrough, or if you get blue mage in the fiesta, you want level 5 death. So you need a blue mage to be level 15, but without everyone else in your party at level 15, and you have to win the battle. So what I do is I usually have someone at 15 and everyone else at 16 at about this point. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's always a fun time. But without a blue mage, you just you just don't want everybody at 15 here. That's 100? Okay, cool. Flails are kind of pointless then if I can actually hit with the same amount of accuracy as rods do with varying damage. That's fine. So yeah, I got Ranger as my fire chop. I can't equip it yet because I cur currently don't have one. Ranger and the other one that I'm skipping out on off the top of my head is um, we get later. Like, I currently don't have Ranger. We have Beastmaster, Geomancer, and um, Ninja. But Ranger and I, there's, a, there's a fifth one, I swear, I forget. Um, I currently don't have. I will get after the next dungeon. And then a little bit of other travel and stuff. So yeah, it's about here, and I'm gonna be saving a lot here, because if I get into an encounter in the desert, I'm probably dead. It'd be really good EXP, but I would probably be just dead. Okay, so we're good. Um, I am still currently not 16, and I don't want to grind. But I'm not far off, so it's kind of whatever, actually. I think we're fine. Okay. Two monks might not be the best here. I really should have three red mages, but whatever. So yeah, this is Library of the Ancients. Why were we directed to come here? Because I knew this is where we had to go. I didn't even necessarily have to talk to Sid. Blue Mage's Journey, Arrow, level 5 death. That's a hint that you get it here. Strange Staff, that's the healing staff. And this is a battle! Oh no! Oh. I saved outside. I'm not dealing with the first thing in a scripted encounter to be a back attack. I'm sorry, but no. The, the amount of back attacks you get in FF5 is kind of unreal sometimes. So let's start this again. Hi, I'm Dove. Welcome to, like, the very beginning of this. Yeah. That's better. That's significantly better. I don't know why I used Fire 1. There's a free healing spot here. Okay, so all everything is weak against fire, like turbo weak against fire. And uh, it's nice and all. I don't know why I'm casting fire as a monk, I just want to see how- Actually, that's not terrible for fire one. But I want this thing to die right now. Because if it casts level 5 death, it's a game over, so... Okay. Read in the books and says, we don't know which ones those are. The ones that attack you, probably. That's if I had to guess. So yeah, there is a free inn here. And the dungeon isn't necessarily that hard. Just if I get unlucky with level 5 death, that's gonna suck. Um, kind of want to get the rest of the way there, because it should be like one battle at this point. But it would just as easily be one battle in the dungeon proper. So, into the dungeon proper we go! YOLO and so forth. Okay, so we start here. So yeah, there's a lot of bookcases in the way and stuff. You gotta find these, like, hidden switches to be able to, like, progress. It's not really that big of a deal. I think we just, like, straight up try and progress to progress here. And then, uh, we just go here. 
This one is like basically from memory, the, and then we just go through here. Easy. Not a bad dungeon, really. It's kind of annoying. There's an ether. I hate that I'm like perfectly level 15 right now for my entire party. This is just not a good sign at all for me. Um, and then, okay, so I want to go here. And then I'm going to equip Frost Rods. Actually, I'm not going to right the second. I will in here. Because there's a boss here. The first boss for us right now. Wait, why do I have two Kenpogi? That's why I have two Kenpogi. Because they should have silver plates. There we go. This is Ifrit, who is sealed in this book for some reason. But we're gonna learn how to summon him by kicking the, kicking his teeth in. I'm gonna kick the crap out of him. So the easiest way to do this actually is just to break an ice rod, honestly. And I'm sorry for the lackluster nature of just break rod to win, but yeah. Um, I'm not gonna bother breaking the second one. I think he's dead from Blizzara, and if not, the two punchy punches should about do it. Enough! Honestly, the battle isn't that hard anyway. He casts like Fire, Fira, Blaze, has a pretty nasty physical attack, but is overall just kind of a standard boss. If you beat Liquid Flame, you can beat Ifrit, no big deal. And then we learn Ifrit, our first summon, because we didn't buy any in Walls, and I haven't gone back to fight the other one yet. I will do that, don't get me wrong. So now we go back to Flame Rods Forever. And we progress. And before I just like get insta gib to level 5 death or something. Lamau. So we had to do that to do this. To get into this battle right here. Okay, 128 doesn't know level 5 death. That's good for me. It's page 64 that knows level 5 death. And this will level me up. So I'm good, actually. We're good. Plus, there's a save point before the boss, IIRC. Uh, yeah, I think this is just a straight 128-128. And then fire again. Okay, no, you are 256. Ooh, keto. I don't want to break a fire rod, but I would really like the EXP. I don't remember what 256 does. Okay. Yep, Bart, Lena, Gal, Affairs. Job level Chakra, job level Chakra, good for me. I will switch back once Lena and Gal have hit uh, Red Mage 2. No big deal. And now I don't have to worry about level 5 death, so... This bookcase is a jerk. None shall pass. Except I have Ifrit. Yeah, that's right. Better, you big nerd. So, yeah. That happens. Wait, that was a thing? Hold up. Yeah, that's right. This is a thing and there's a box here. Ninja suit, which... Doesn't really matter, but... Okay, so now we're in here... Where does... F okay, that leads to that, then. And that leads to nothing, so why would I go down that way? Just to show off, it doesn't go anywhere, I guess. I don't know. Lamau. Okay, so that way is the way we need to go. This is... Okay, this is just a straight-up fight now. I'm not so worried about my MP right now. Just because I'm very well aware that the next boss is just going to be something I break fire rods on. It's this enemy that can do level 5 death, which ordinarily I would want on Blue Mage because it's such a good spell and you can cheese the hell out of the game by exploiting level manipulation, casually speaking. You can 
use old and um, another blue magic spell to pretty much manipulate anything in the game, almost anything in the game, even I think the final boss, not 100% sure, into being enraged to level 5 death, which will kill. I think that's not a thing on the remakes. But in the Super Famicom and PS1 version, there's a lot of cheese. Oh, please counter. Yes. Free damage. I think this is going to go to 256 and then all the way back down. So I think I'm going to have Lena cast Fira. Actually, no, I'm not because this is taking both monk hits. Well, three out of four monk hits. So I think I'm just going to go double fire again. Okay. I'm very curious to what I get. Now that I... So I know I have Ranger. I have a second. I can talk about this. This battle's going to take a minute. So I have Ranger, which means I have access to X attack, which makes Monk a lot better. I'll have Rapid Fire on Monk, which is going to be very, very good. That's that's something I'm like actually really jazzed about. So my Monks are going to hit pretty hard. Chemist would be ridiculously easy mode. Also nice meeps. Uh, <laughs> Chemist would make would give me a really good balance of uh, physical and magic. It would be really, 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 really good if I got Chemist. But at this point, I don't- even Dancer wouldn't be the worst thing I could get. Dancer is the worst out of those jobs I can get, but not the worst thing I could get ever. Phoenix down, nice, good. Okay, so now we go in here, and there we go in here. And I don't remember the series of switches, I think we just like progress normal or something, yeah. Yeah, something like that. And that switch is a way out, I think. Okay, preemptive is very good. I'm just gonna fear this. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's to that to that. And then I'm just gonna cast fire. I don't know why I physically attacked here, but... Oh well. And now we're to 32. Interesting. Crit! I think I'm just gonna hold A to win now. I think that's the plan. I'm really glad I have Red Mage in hindsight because there's a lot of things that magic really helps with even low level magic. It's gonna fall off pretty dang quick, but I'm pretty alright there for right now. Let me go down here for nothing. Wait, is there a box up there I didn't get? No, that's stairs. Okay. This is a forced encounter, I think. Bada bada bada. Counter! Yes. Yes! Hey, nice! We just died. Okay. Ah, and then a save point. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and tent. I don't need to, but I'm gonna. The next boss is- it can be hard. The next boss can be pretty hard. But I'm gonna be breaking fire rods. I'm breaking two. And, um, that's not gonna be that big of a deal. I am going to save just in case because this boss casually has kinda hurt before. But, for the most part, especially in 750 terms, but even without, even if you're, like, against breaking fire rods, just, uh, you know, spam Fira if applicable. If you have ninja, flame scrolls if you have them. If you have a summoner, if it's really good here, and in fact, uh, actually no, I'm thinking of a different boss. But yeah, this boss isn't that hard. Um, if you beat Liquid Flame, you can beat this one too. Like, Liquid Flame to me is that one boss. Also, Magic Hammer is great if you have Blue Mage. You kind of don't want to leave this battle without it. Alright, I was just gonna break rods. I'm gonna break a second. I don't have to, but I'm gonna. Just cause I don't want to be in this dungeon anymore. Arg. This is the end, but only for me. The Master's Seal will be blown. Throw wide the gates. Kirk. Blah. So this one gets like a really big super death animation for some reason. 
and I think this boss's script might have accidentally been mixed up with one in the last dungeon. I'm not 100% sure. Because this one doesn't react to effort and that one does and it's very weird. Anyway, I don't know. Hi, Mid. It's Sid's grandson, Mid. Also, he's so engrossed in his books that he didn't notice there were monsters everywhere. And he also didn't notice that we were fighting a monster behind him. Anyway, secret, shortcut through books. Hi, hope you didn't need books there because we're here now. Those books are in the ether now. They are now an entrance. It's mid. Yeah. Came to save me, but I was studying. Anyway, look what I found. Also, we can do the fire-powered ship stuff again. Sad party. Right now, he's researching the bottom of a bottle. Angry mid, steel book, run away! So we better go after him. And by we better go after him, I mean I'm gonna heal first. Yeah, the tent was kind of wasted, but whatever. Because I just broke two fire rods. Um... Speaking of, I think I'm gonna go Frost Rod. Actually, I'm gonna go Mean Ghost Frost Rod. Flame Rod. Works for me. So, Mean Ghost also gives a chance to parry. Combine that with the Elven Mantle, and physical attacks aren't as big of a problem. I mean, stuff still hurts when it hits, but it, like, it gives me a lot of resistance. Or, not resistance, but chance to avoid. Okay, so I'm gonna fight here. Silent B! I'ma stab it. And because I'm going back to an inn, I don't necessarily care about my MP right now, so Gallop is just gonna be casting magic spells for days. Kick. We're gonna kick some bees. Let's don't actually do that in real life, because that's not good for the bees. But yeah, we're gonna kick some bees. I'm gonna save here because I don't want to fight that thing. And then I'm gonna save here again, because I really don't want to fight that thing. Please tell me they didn't send Wilhelm. Okay, good. Right, so we're going back to Karnak, which is a bit of a trek. Honestly, not that bad, though. I'm curious, how much does this heal? It's instant and actually not bad. Okay, cool. Counter, yes. Now combine that, like, random counterattacks with normal attacks being, like, 8 hits. That's that's gonna be pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's gonna be pretty nice. And uh, you know what? Nope. Back attack is a nope. See, that was dodged by Elven Mantle. That's gonna be a counterattack. I don't care that that's a kill. I don't care. That's old Bart's, but I run because it's a back attack, and no, I don't have that kind of patience. And now we're outside of Karnak. Time to deal with the fire-powered ship. I don't need to buy anything here. I would like to buy some ice rods, but I bought some fire rods for a different reason that I'll get into later. Also, I don't necessarily need the inn. I keep going in here thinking that the pub is here and then going down to the item shop. Or not the item shop, the magic shop. Thinking it's the item shop, thinking it's... My mind, sometimes, friends, is something else. Anyway. The main reason I talked to Sid first is just in case I ended up going down there for nothing, but yeah. Sad party. Angry mid. Also, we somehow got here ahead of him, but didn't pass him and didn't think to escort him here. Sad mid. I love 16-bit sprites. I think they're- you can do a lot in terms of personality and animation with 16-bit sprites. My favorite sprite work in any game is still FF6, but I'm biased. But now we can get the fire-powered ship moving! Alright, crew, let's get to work! Also, we're gonna meet, uh, Sid's, like, quintuplets, Sid, 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 and Sid, and then mid's quintuplets, mid, 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 and mid. 
Um, don't worry about it. You'll you'll see in a sec, probably. Unless I'm thinking of a different scene where they're like quintupled. Okay, so I'm gonna save here, and then I'm gonna save after the cutscene because there's gonna be a lot of saving. Um, actually, yeah, no, this is a good stopping point now that I think about it because there's a lot we can cover in the next video where I'll finally get the third job that I've already been assigned and everything will be lovely and stuff. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Love your faces and peace.